Good morning friends, how are you all today? Welcome back to Lily Lulu. My name is Karen, the Junk Journal Geek. If you haven't been here before, thank you for joining me today. I hope you will find what you see here interesting and you will decide to subscribe. If you are a returning visitor, thank you so much for coming back and joining me today. So I've changed my videoing time a little bit, which is why I might be a bit quieter than usual. Um, because I have had to move back down into the kitchen and I've now got hubby home recovering from his minor op, um, it's going to be difficult for me to film during the day um, because I'm filming in my kitchen. If you've been here for a while, you'll know my setup's changed. I'm in the kitchen, which is in the middle of the house and it's all open plan downstairs our house. So it's very tricky for me to film when there are people around um, you know with distractions and noises and things so i've decided that when i get up in the morning instead of doing all my jobs first thing i'm going to do some filming first thing while the house is still quiet so um i'm a bit conscious that you know there's people still asleep um and i'm trying not to wake anybody up <laughs> i do still have max for company so um as always if max starts making his presence felt, I apologise in advance. So today I'm here to make a project that um, it's my take on something that Julie at Camellia Crafts Designs um, made a few days ago. Um, I think it was last week. I'm a bit behind because I was ill. I was catching up on videos and um, I'm, you know, a bit all over the place with where you know time wise where it happened so i will link um julie's video in the description below but she made a one sheet folio with a notebook and she made it from beautiful stamperia paper and she said oh i bet this would look nice in timmy paper and i have this um tim holtz wallflower 12 by 12 pad so i thought well, I say pad, I have used bits out of it. So I thought I'm gonna have a go at that using one of these papers. Now I haven't chosen which paper I'm going to use yet. Um, and this project is affected by directional papers, but you can sort of get away with it if things, well, things will be upside down. So I'm just looking to see what I've got here to see what might be easiest to use um, something like that you know you've got you have got script but it's going in different directions so that might be all right um, although as I say when you do end up with the upside down bits we are going to decorate as well so these bits that I've already used for other things I'm going to pull them out because we can use those for decoration um, and it gives you the chance to have a look at these yummy papers while I'm flicking through in case you haven't seen them before. I'm not sure what the lighting's going to be like this morning. It's a bit grey outside um, so I'm hoping that the light's good enough for you to see what I'm doing. So I really like this paper but as I say, half of it is going to end up upside down and covered up. So um, it might be better to use that for more sort of decorating purposes rather than making the actual thing. So, and then we're into the bits that are, you know, separated into the smaller squares. These are six by six. And then we've got these little tiny ones. I think they're three by three. So I think there was one back here that I quite liked the look of. Which one was it? <laughs> I quite like that scripty one. I think I might go with that one. So let's pull that out. So how are you all today? I hope you're all 
happy and well and managing to get some crafting of your own done. Um, let's pop that pad to one side now. I don't know how much of this I'm going to get done because I'm filming in the morning. Um, I don't know how much I'm going to get done. So this might be one long video. It might be split up into sections. I'm not sure yet. So the first thing we're going to do, that, that's our piece of paper. Um, so we're going to turn it sideways if your paper is directional. And we're going to score at six inches. That's across the horizontal. And then we're going to turn it back the right way. And we're going to score at four inches, top to bottom. And at eight and a half inches. So that's, oops, <laughs> gone straight off the line there. It's because I'm rushing. And that's all the scoring that we need to do. And then, let's pop the scoreboard out of the way. Then this horizontal line here that we've scored, we're going to cut along there from there to that four inch score line that's coming down there. I know it's not very easy to see on camera and I've got my scissors out, but I thought really I should have done this with my craft knife and my ruler to practice using those, particularly as I'm terrible at cutting a straight line with scissors, but hey ho, we're going now. And I think as long as I'm careful, I could trim this on the guillotine afterwards. Although there is going to be a folded bit in the pocket. We don't want to accidentally cut the pocket open, so maybe not. Um, I have folded a little sheet of paper sort of just to practice what I was doing um, here. I haven't actually made one of these so until you've made a couple I don't think you can sort of visualize what you're going to be doing right so that's that was how our paper started so we've got a score line here at four a score line here at eight and a half a score line here at six and we've cut from the four inch score right to the edge not very straightly I might add so then we're going to fold this over on that six inch score line and we've got to be careful to line the corners up. The one thing I haven't got out, which I might need, is my bone folder. So we're going to fold that like that. So we've got our fold at the top now and then we're going to fold this right hand piece in on itself and I'm going to watch my bottom line to try and keep the bottom straight and fold that and then I'm going to fold on this four inch score line again I'm going to watch my bottom try and keep this all lined up at the bottom And then I'm going to turn this over and do exactly the same again. So the right hand section, I'm, I'm looking at the top now because that's where I've lined up all along. I'm going to fold that on that score line. And then I'm going to do exactly the same again. This is the eight and a half inch score line going back there. And now we need to try and keep everything as square as possible on there. So, oh, that's, that's not too bad. So let me grab my bone folder and we'll just burnish those folds. Actually, before we burnish these folds, now we can check which way we want this up. So this is the way we've ended up, with the, the way we started, this is how it's ended up. So you can see this front, what will be the front cover, 
is upside down but we've got this front cover with this flappy bit we've got this bit in the middle that which is going to be a pocket in a minute that's all upside down we've got this page which is up the right way and this page which is up the right way and then this this is our back cover which is up the right way so you could flip it over you've still got this cover upside down this is upside down there's our pocket in the middle this is all up the right way now the other thing that Julie said you could do is you could unfold the whole thing and go around the other way so now we'd have that bit folded there that bit folded there that bit folded there and that bit folded there that bit folded there and then we've got this, we've got this as our cover this is our flap this is our pocket this is our other flap and our back cover so whichever way you go if you've got directional paper you are going to end up with things up the wrong way so it really doesn't matter I think I'm going to keep it like this actually am I going to keep it like this because we are going to be putting papers in and pockets in and bits and pieces um, yeah I think I'll leave it like that so I'm going to now burnish all my folds now that's not quite square now so just trying to make sure these are as square as possible so that it looks nice when we finished nice and neat so that, that's taken me less time than I thought it would because I've done that quick paper jobby there I've sort of got an idea of what I'm doing um, it's not taken me long to do that but when I was trying to figure it out earlier I got myself in a bit of a pickle and got confused and then we're going to add pockets and decorate and all sorts in this so Now you can see down here I've got a little bit extra there um, so I need to decide whether I need to trim that off I think I'm just going to I don't want to trim that because that's my pocket So I don't really want to put that, oh, I could put it through the guillotine and just take that little tiny bit off. Right, I'm just going to pause while I do that, I'll be back in a minute. Right, I've just neatened that edge up, um, I let the dog out while I was up so I might have to run and let him back in again in a second. So before I glue that pocket together I'm going to ink all around this. Um, just so that I know I've done it all before I go any further. And I may round the corners on some parts of this um, eventually. And I've had to put the light on overhead, so I hope there's no shadows, but it seems to be getting darker this morning instead of lighter <laughs> as time's going on. So I hope um, it's still okay for you light wise and shadow wise I hope there's not any horrible shadows or anything so did you see this video of Julie's anybody have you had to go at making one of these I thought it was a very cute little project and it was all tied up with them um, say so she used really pretty stamperia paper and it was all tied up with lovely crinkled seam binding which I love but I don't have any of that so 
I don't know what I'll be using as a closure on this, but um, we'll worry about that when we get there and see how we've decorated and everything. And um, obviously she had, well not obviously, if you haven't seen it, she had some lovely um, coordinating Stamperia ephemera as well. But I don't really have any Tim Holtz bits. I have um, this pad, this 12 by 12 pad and the remnants of another one. I think it's the Memoranda, Memorandum. I can't remember what it's called. Something like that. Oh, excuse me. I need to go and sort Max out. Sorry about that. Yeah, so she had lovely Stamperia ephemera and um, the only Tim Holtz things I've got other than these papers and the Distress ink that I'm using at the moment, which is vintage photo, in case you're wondering. Um, I've got a, um, one of those pads of stickers, you know, that have phrases on them or words on them. I've got one of those. Um, and I think that's all the Tim Holtz stuff I have. I don't think I have anything else. So my decoration is not going to... Oh, hang on a minute. Am I, am I in my pocket here? Where are we? I've lost where... Oh, no, that's the pocket. Um, my decoration's not going to be as coordinated... as Julie's was. I've lost where I am. There we go. So that's that, that's that, that's that. Right, I haven't done the outside of this. Um, so I'll have to improvise and see what I've got. That's all right, we can do that. So it was that way up, wasn't it? So have I got everywhere? still doesn't look particularly inked. Right, so now we need to, let's put the lid on that Karen before we have a nasty accident. We need to pop glue in the middle here to seal that pocket up. Green page. So this is going to be our pocket. So we need to put glue along here and along here. So if we open it up and I show you. Oh, I'm losing some of that lovely script, but it can't be helped. So I need to put glue along here and here because that's going to be our pocket. So let's see if the glue is going to cooperate this morning. Yes. Well, so far anyway. She says, <laughs> maybe I spoke too soon. my hand here so that I remember that this is where my pocket is going to be. So this is just going to fold up there leave that to dry and I don't know if you can hear that banging about above me but my hubby is awake so I will need to go and tend to him now because it's the day after his operation so he's still a bit I'm assuming he's still going to be um, in a little bit of pain so I'm going to leave that to dry 
and I will be back shortly. Okay, I'm back again. It's actually the next day now because, um, well, the day got started yesterday and I never got back to <clears throat> carrying on with this. So this is, the glue's all dry now in this. So this is what we've ended up with. Um, we've got a flippy, flappy bit there. We've got our pocket in the middle here. And we've got the same flippy, flappy bits on the back. So now I've got to start the decorating, sticking pockets in and things and making a little booklet to go in here. Now, um, when I was filming yesterday, you probably saw, I think you saw, I think I showed you, I had a little paper template that I was using to remind me what went where. And um, in between then and now, I've lost it. <laughs> so my idea, when I was started making this, my idea was I was going to do as far as I could, exactly the same as Julie had done in her video, but obviously using different um, things so that anything um, that I didn't have, you know, I just wanted to show you that you can make these projects that you see other people making, even if you don't have exactly the same supplies. Um, now, obviously, that may change because um, unless I've got the video playing next to me, I may not necessarily remember exactly what she did where. But we'll go with it and see how we get on. Now, I know um, on this part, Julie had a slot die <clears throat> um, cut, die cut that she had popped in. And I don't have that die, but I did remember that in this pack of goodies I bought from Purple Poppy on Etsy. I will link this in the description. If I forget to link any of these things, please nudge me and I will come back and do it. I know there's um, a couple of those die cuts in here, so I can see one. Whoops. So that's one of them. And I've got a feeling there's another one. Oh yeah. Oh, I think there's a couple. <clears throat> got that one which is probably not the right colour I think that was the only two if I remember rightly <clears throat> oh I've got a really runny nose and a funny throat this morning so everybody's still up in bed so um, that to me is not the right colour but does that stand out oh I think that'll be alright once I've um inked around that I know it does blend in a little bit but once I've inked around it you know and then we start popping little bits and pieces in there um I think that will be all right so we'll pop that one in there oh. yeah I've woken up with a really runny nose this morning Hopefully it's not going to be leading to anything else. So I think we've had enough of that now. <laughs> what, we've, what did I have? I had a chest infection a few weeks ago. And then last week I had that silly sickness bug. I'm never ill. <laughs> and then I've had, you know, two periods really close together of being poorly. So I think that's enough now. I don't think we need to have any more sickness thank you very much Karen fight this one off I'm just trying to go along these edges here um, without getting ink all over myself so yeah I think that will be okay not I would prefer to have something that was a little bit more obvious but I just think that's too much too much contrast so let's grab the glue and I'm going to glue around the three sides so that we can still put something in the top as well if we want to and of course Max has been fast asleep on the sofa up until now and as soon as I turn the camera on he decides to come and sit the back door and whine and he's literally, I've just let him out twice before I turned the camera on 
to make sure he didn't need to go out. So if you hear any squeaking in the background, that's what it is. Seems funny carrying on a video that I started yesterday. I can't remember what I was talking about yesterday, what I said, what I didn't say. <laughs> I've gone a bit close to the edge here, so I hope it doesn't ooze out too much. Right, I'm going to put that fairly low down so that we've got room to pop things in the top if we want to. And I'm trying to get it straight-ish. I think that's all right. So I'm hoping I've remembered um, roughly what Julie did and where she put things. I'll probably go back and re-watch her video afterwards and think, oh, it's completely different. Now, the other thing she did, she, on the front, she had, well, the front's going to, I'm not going to turn that over yet. I'm going to leave that to dry a bit. Um, she had a frame that she put, you know, a, a, a die cut that was a frame that she put acetate behind and used as a pocket. Now, I don't think I have anything like that either. Um, so I need to think about what I'm going to put on the front. Now, if I remember correctly, here and on the corresponding side here, I believe she had vellum pockets. So I remembered that I had this. This is like an old... Um, photo album that I found in the charity shop it's got a lovely card and it's got obviously these pieces um, that would have protected the photographs so I thought I could use that as my vellum pockets so this is Four and oh, what's that? One, two. It's just under four and a half wide, so I reckon we want a pocket that's probably four and a quarter. And then, how high up do we want to come? Two and a half. Four and a quarter by two and a half. I can't remember what size Julie did hers. As I say, I've um, lost my prototype. As soon as I finish filming this, you know what's going to happen. It will turn up. Right, I'm just going to pop you on pause for a second while I chop this up. Okay, I've chopped that up and I've blown my nose. <laughs> so hopefully... We can carry on now. Now let's check whether these are about the right size. Oh yeah, I think that will be okay. I don't know how well you can see that on camera. Now normally I would stick this down with double-sided tape um, so that you, you know, it's invisible. Julie used, um, well she used art glitter glue. I don't have art glitter glue at the moment. I've got cosmic shimmer but um i'm gonna have a go with this and see what it comes out like if you can see the glue once it's dry then i'll have to you know put some sort of decoration or something over it and then the next oh that's splodged out a bit don't really want that much um and then we'll make the little what are we making? A little coin envelope pocket. I think that's the next thing to do. So let's pop this here. And let's hope that that sticks down. Somewhere in my stash, I have 
special, I can't remember if it's glue or if it's tape, special stuff for sticking vellum um, that I found in the charity shop one day and I bought it and I haven't used it yet so I wanted to give a, that a try but all these things are still upstairs in my daughter's bedroom um, as you know I'm gradually moving everything and she's still asleep because it's quite early in the morning so um, I've missed the chance to have a play with that and see how it works but oops sliding that I don't think I've got my glue right to the edge there. So I might have to go back in with a... I hope I've stuck that in the right place. I'm sure I have. I might have to go back in, um, you know, with the tip of the glue and... Oh, my fingers are all sticky now. See, that's wrinkled. This is why I, I like to use the tape if you don't get the wrinkling. So I'll probably, I don't know, we'll see how it looks when it dries. It might, might sort itself out a bit, you never know. So that's that. Then um, trying to remember, <clears throat> on the back here let's 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 make sure we're, we're right yep so here I believe is where Julie had the pocket where she tucked her notebook in so there must have been something here I can't remember what was here and here I know that she used a piece of six by six card to make a coin type envelope, um, which is why I saved these. You know, when we were rooting through, looking for bits and pieces. And I think I decided I wanted this one, Max. <coughs> Sorry about that, there was a dog barking outside, which Max did not approve of. So, um, right, so we're making a coin type envelope to go here. Now the height, probably be okay once I've put in, you know, the cover and, the, and folded it up. Um, and it's gonna be, yeah, it's, that's gonna be okay. So we need to score this now, obviously. I can't remember what Julie scored it at. So I'm just gonna, just gonna go with it. <laughs> so I think if we take off, how wide is that? Let me just check. Four-ish, and this is six, so needs to come down. Um. Oh, what am I doing? Right. First of all, let's just do three quarters of an inch on each side there. On. Oh, my, my glue bottle sticking to my arm as I'm working. Can you see? Oh, that's better, isn't it? You can see that a bit better. Then we want to turn up a little bit at the bottom there. And we'll want a slightly bigger flap at the top there. And then... such trouble with this. I can't 
can't think of what I need to do. I make these all the time. That folds in and that folds in. That's not going to be enough to meet, is it? Silly Karen. Right, so if we want to... Want that to come over there. And we want that to meet it. So we need to score about there. Oh my goodness me. Really not with it this morning, am I? Right, let's try that. So, if you want a tutorial on making these, check out Julie's video <laughs> because I'm making a pig's ear of this this morning. I still folded it in the wrong place. What am I doing? Oh, I've scored it in the wrong place. Right, I'm just going to chop that off. <laughs> I'm cheating because I can't be bothered to do it again properly. Right, so once you have scored these in the correct place, that's going to be stuck down, so it doesn't matter that I've got that silly score line there that I didn't need. But what I do need to do is take off my corners so that these will all fold properly. So at the bottom here, I'm not sure how I want this to fold. I'm going to take that off there. Hang on a minute. I really don't know what I'm doing this morning. Right, I don't need this part because my flap is going to come over that, so I can take that off. This is the problem with filming first thing in the morning. My brain hasn't woken up yet. <laughs> and anybody that says, does your brain ever wake up, Karen? Valid point. <laughs> right, so... That will be like that. We don't need this part. Oh, next door, cooking porridge. I can smell it. I'm going to shake these in a minute once I know. So I've done that wrong, you see. So that's going to be my flap over there. And then this part. I should have cut this side, not that side. Oh, I don't need it that wide. So I'm going to cut that there. And I'm going to cut this part off here. Oh, I can't believe I've made this look so difficult. It really isn't difficult to make these envelopes. So now that's going to fold up there. And that's my open and closing. So I'm just going to shape this so that it's vaguely the same as the other side. I'm going to stick that down there. This is not going to match on the back. It is going to match on the back because... Oh, Karen. <laughs> right. I'm going to change my mind about what I'm doing. I'm not going to have that flap. I'm just going to make it a pocket and stick it down because I wanted these flowers at the front and I've made it stick down that way with the flap there and that was supposed to have a string button closure. I'm not going to do that. I'm just making a mess of this so... have another go. Should we try it again? Because <laughs> if I fold that bear with me a moment. 
Right, I'm going to try again. <laughs> so, I'm going to score here and here. You can see I've made myself little marks, although that doesn't look particularly straight. Hopefully that's straight. So this is going to fold over there and this is going to fold here. So that's what I'm going to be looking at for my envelope. So now I've got my three little butterflies at the front. So that's okay. So now I need to score at the bottom and at the top to make my flaps. So I just need a little bit at the bottom and a little bit more at the top. Right. Now let's try and do this properly. So all we need at the bottom is the middle piece. So we can cut this piece off. And we can cut this piece off. torn it so then we will have that so that's right I'm going to need to knees up in a minute and then we want the same at the top we just want that middle piece so we can cut this off and this off Honestly, have you ever seen anyone make such a mess of such a simple thing? Oh, that's a nice piece, isn't it, that I've just cut off? That would make, make a nice little label. Right, so that goes there, that goes there, that goes there, and that goes there. Right, so let's just give this a little bit of shape. Just to... I'm not even going to bother trying to match those. So that, that will go over there like that. Or like that. Really made a mess of this little corner here. Oh, there's not a lot I can do about that. And then our flap at the top, I'm going to very slight cut slightly below the score line. So we've got a little bit of room there for the folding. I don't think I've got my corner round down here. I'm sure I've got my corner round down. Can't see it. So let's see how we're looking now. Like that. And that's going to be my flap. And that's going to have um, a string closure. But the, I would normally use my one inch punch to make the circles, but obviously this is too small for that. 
So I need to think about what I'm going to have here and here before I start sticking things down. Um, and the other thing I'm going to do, I want to have a little notch here so that it's easy to get things in and out. So let's do that. I'm having trouble thinking straight this morning, have you noticed? Oh, it's not even in the middle. <laughs> to my corner rounder in a minute and do those corners. Now I need to work out how I'm going to do these button ring closures. So I need something really little, a really little circle to draw around to make the circles because that's too big. Um, Need to treat myself to a little tiny circle punch. Um, and also I need brads. I wonder if they're down here. Just bear with me, I'm gonna go and have a hunt. Right. <clears throat> I can't find my brads. <laughs> they may still be upstairs. So I've got my button box and I thought I'd put a couple of actual buttons on um, to use as my string button closures and I'm thinking creamy colour or white no, they're not quite white I don't think I don't really want bright white and um, I'd really like my mother of pearl ones but they're in a um, they're in that lovely box that I've shown you before with the glass lid and I've no idea where that is I'm sure I brought it down but I can't find it. These are all really white, white. What's in here? Can you see what I'm rummaging? I've got this flowery one. That's not a flowery one. <laughs> I've aimed for a flowery one and picked up something else. That's no good. I hope this isn't too loud. If I can get this done, I'm going to leave this here today because I feel like I'm struggling for some reason. Um, a little heart. <clears throat> so I will leave this project here for today if I can get these buttons on. <laughs> and then um, I'll come back. All I need to do after this well, not all I need to do. I also need to... Oh, look, those ones might be good. I need to make the little notebook to go in here. And oh, I really, really feel like I'm coming down with something again. I can't believe it. It's so annoying. Thinking of these ones, maybe. They look interesting. So if I had one there and one there and then I thought I could use this crochet cotton um, as the closure so should we have a go at that oh, I'll tell you what I didn't grab my sewing box um, so I need to mark where they have to go excuse me a moment I didn't go anywhere, I just went to grab my sewing box, which is um, at the other end of the room, um, because I'm going to need needles, and I also need 
my pokey tool. And I think that's what I need. So let's move that because it's blocking the light, isn't it? Okay, let's see if we can do this, Karen. Um, also, a pencil would be helpful. I'm so sorry that this is um, such a... I can't even think of the word. <laughs> such a poor video today. So, I think... Oh, I've gone down too low now, haven't I? I keep going up too high or down too low. I think that's probably... Oh, dear. I'm trying to get them central. Right, well, that one looks like it's about in the middle. I could probably tell by my map, couldn't I? Where are we? One, two and a half. So that would be... Yeah, that is about middle. So if I had the buttons too deep for me to actually put a, a pencil mark in where the hole is. So I'm just going to mark where the top and the, oops, the top and the bottom of the button should be and hopefully will be in the right ballpark as long as I can see it. So... That one was on there. Will that go through? We need one, two, three, four, and then on this one, I should have bought my stabby book, shouldn't I? Where is it? There. That doesn't look right now, though. That doesn't look right. It's going to be in the mid. Oh, no, but we've got that bit as well. Okay. Maybe it is right. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Right. Should we see if we can sew a button on? favourite needle in here but I think I've put it um put it away somewhere else I don't know why I'm struggling to thread a needle when I've got a needle threader here Goodness only knows how long this video is. It feels like it's gone on forever. <laughs> right. I feel like I should stand up and give myself a good shake. manage this. Can't even find the hole. <laughs> I'm hoping that um the the you know the string that I use for the string button closure will be all right going around these buttons because they are they do have that fancy edge 
I hope it won't catch, but it does make it more interesting to look at. So, so now we need to go down. Really am all fingers and thumbs this morning. Oops, now I'm bringing a box of buttons with me. And the last one is there. Let's go round again. I think that should be all right because I mean this is nothing big or heavy so I'll just finish that off behind there and I'm going to make a knot in it now <laughs> oh my goodness gracious me what a state. What is going on here today? I do want a knot, but I don't want it there. I want it at the end. Just to make sure it doesn't come out. All right, snip that off. That's one. Well, it could have been worse. <laughs> oh, my needle's gone off the edge of the table and I can't pick it up. Right. And let's do the same again here. So, done my holes in a different pattern here. Well, at least you're seeing, you know, this is real life. This is how crafting goes sometimes. You have a simple idea in your head, but in reality, simple is not always the way it goes. <laughs> but we get there in the end if we persevere. Now, I'm just thinking... I was going to round the corners of this and now I've put a button on. Is that going to be in the way? That one should be enough. Did I go round twice? I don't even know. Right. I think I will pop something over this on the inside to make sure that doesn't catch and to make it look a bit nicer. So let's just pop there for a minute. Um, oh, it's going to be too bumpy. Maybe we'll just pop a little bit of um, 
washi tape over that just you know so that when it's open it's not quite so yucky so now I need to stick this together um, and I think I will need to use the wet glue rather than the glue stick because it's heavier paper isn't it so go down this edge now the glue has decided it's not going to come out again I don't know what they're doing next door but there's a lot of noise going on on the wall next to me a little bit down this edge just trying to stick that carefully hoping that the glue doesn't ooze because this is the side you're going to see and then we'll stick this bottom flat We have a little bit of oozage there. And I think I will find some washi tape and pop a piece over there, like I say, and a piece on this corner where I tore it while I was trying to cut it just to tidy everything up and I need to round the corners and then we will stick it in so um string I'm going to tie this round here which even that seems to be beyond my capabilities this morning. <laughs> oh dear. I'll just do a double knot. And my nose is running again. So that will come there and then we'll just We'll just, oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> oh dear, we will just wrap that round a couple of times. And snip that there. Well, you know you're in trouble when you can't even loop a bit of string around a button, don't you? So, end a bit shorter so it's oh, oh I nearly cut the envelope then right so that needs to dry a little bit and then let's bring our project back in that is going to be stuck there I know it's all a bit samey at the moment but it will it will look better I promise <laughs> once we've started popping things in um, and we need to decorate these pockets. Um, but as I say, I think I'm going to leave it there today. <laughs> because I really feel like I'm just making a big mess of everything. So, thank you for joining me. I'm sorry that it has been a bit of a struggle. <laughs> but I'll be back again in a couple of days, hopefully. And I'll be a bit more on the ball. But in the meantime, enjoy your own crafty time. Thanks for joining me. Take care and look after yourself. Bye-bye.